Oh, Gary, Nasai, Minasan. Today, we're going to talk about Kamen Rider Gachado episode 13. Before watching Kamen Rider Gachado episode 13, Let let's check out the trailer. Let's go. Okay. What? Yeah, for action! Psycho no Gacha. So that is the trailer. So a, a lot of interesting thing we actually get to see from the trailer itself. Firstly, is the fact that every single time when someone uses the Dread Driver, their lifespan is going to get reduced. So are we going to see the death of Sabimaru? Is that how the story of Dread is gonna end we 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 are not sure okay i don't think so because in the next episode we are gonna see hotaro using ufo x form and it is freaking ugly okay i don't i'm not I'm not a big fan of ufo x but then again let, let us just go through the trailer scene by scene right now so that maybe we can figure out something from from the trailer itself okay so, so we started out with sabi maru looking really really cool like kind of kneeling doing kind of like a superhero pose with the three abyssal sister at the back so we are not sure what actually happened to him now that he is no longer in dread form maybe his mind is still in control by Atropos itself because we already established that Atropos actually has the ability to mind control someone so maybe right now Sabimaru is still in control or maybe Sabimaru right now is actually being controlled by uh the dread driver itself or maybe there's also another possibility that maybe sabimaru is the traitor all along okay so because i i, I just felt like I, 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 there is a possibility there but then again I don't think so because of how Sabimaru's mind is connected to Isaac and he's speaking through Isaac and we actually see that he is he, he screamed for help in the previous episode like he, he wanted help and he doesn't want to do this and all those stuff so it doesn't I don't think Sabimaru is going to become the traitor or something like that but just a, a thing that I felt like we just want to entertain kind of like a possibility or something like that okay but let me move on to the next scene next we get to see Renge we get to see Mirato and Hotaro and Rinne obviously the four of them back in action once again I think this is right I'm not sure how long it has been since they got beaten to shit in the previous episode because we don't actually get to see any wound on the face of Hotaro right now and it might actually tell us that he is either healed through care, uh, like alchemy to heal his body, heal his face back to normal. Or maybe this has kind of like passed in, in the series itself. Maybe one week has passed so that he has time to heal something like that. But I just doubt that the, the three abyssal sister is just gonna like, oh, I, I attack you and then one week later, I'm, I'm gonna attack you again. Okay, so I think this is the next day and he just healed through the alchemy something like that so next we get to see dread once again looks really really cool next get to see hotaro trying to hench in as gacha we are not sure like who's dread is aiming at right now because i i have a strong feeling that the the gun that dread is actually pointing towards is like he is actually pointing towards renge itself okay because renge is gonna like the voice of sabimaru like the the one that makes her feel the the one that makes sabimaru felt love or felt care about something like that maybe maybe not we are not sure but next we get to see um this is interesting like you you would thought that hotaro was henshin but I think he's still having a little bit of struggle here. He's not able to hang in. Next, we get to see Dread being attacked by someone. And obviously, that is going to be our boy, Spana. Okay, so Spana is back in action once again. I feel like Spana is going to continue to take Els over and over again starting now. Because like he is... Like, they really need to nerf him in some way. And one of the best ways to nerf a really OP character is to have him lose to the new guy over and over and over and over again until one day he got so fed up by all of this thing and he actually tried to seek for power himself, like try to find another way to make himself stronger. And that is going to either be a, a good power up or maybe it's going to come from a place of evil. So I'm, I'm not sure 
sure how Spana's story is gonna go, but I am actually anticipating that there is a possibility that he might actually go to the dark side. He might actually join the the forbidden alchemy, something like that, and he's gonna learn about it. I'm, I'm not sure how, but there's just a possibility. Next, we get to see Valvarat versus Adred, and then we get to see Minato stopping Val Spana from attacking Dread, I would assume. So, would that actually tell us that Valvarat was being taken surprise in the previous episode, but if if Valvarat managed to fight fairly and like, he wasn't taken by surprise, maybe is actually telling us that Valvarat is actually able to take down Kamen Rider Dread itself. I think that is really interesting if that is the case, but I would really love Valvarat to see Valvarat just lose, like get his ass beaten, handed to him over and over again. I think that is going to be way, way more fun for the series to progress. Next, we get to see Hotaro is trying to summon UFO X using the, the UFO seeker that has been created by uh, Sabimaru itself. And we actually get to see Kajiki joining them as well. So this is pretty interesting. I'm not sure whether or not Kajiki actually knew anything about the UFO X and re uh, about Kemi or not. Like, is this like kind of like the first time Kajiki is not gonna forget about his memory, something like that. But I don't think so, okay? I think they just kind of like ask Kajiki for help and after they got what they want, they're just gonna erase the memory of Kajiki. I Honestly speaking, I just felt really, really saddened with the fact that every single time Kajiki's mind need to be wiped, his, his memory need to be rearranged, be re re rewritten itself. That is very, very sad. <laughs> Definitely not a life that you want to go through. It's gonna make you feel like you have been gaslight your entire life your entire life man that is really really insane next we get to see like a spinning shot something like that so really amazing next we get to see Hotaro using the X gacha caliber and, and making it into kind of like a attachment to the driver itself and he's able to henshin into UFO X really freaking ugly <laughs> <laughs> not a big fan man like totally not a big fan but I get the appeal I get like why people would actually enjoy the design of UFO X because it's like very roundish it actually captures perfectly the idea of a UFO and also it have a little bit of element of kind of like a astronaut something like that into the design so it's pretty pretty nice okay so what, what do I think about this next episode I, I felt like it's definitely gonna be really fun for sure entertaining but i'm not sure about the pacing though that i felt like they they are trying to juggle quite a lot of things they i think they are trying to juggle with uh sabi maru attacking once again and then they, they need to juggle the fact that uh they are looking for ufo eggs they need to juggle between valorat and versus uh Kamen Rider dread itself so we, there's a lot of things for them to juggle i'm not sure whether or not they are able to do it successfully without fail okay but i'm excited like i said i, I want to watch this series moving forward let me know in the comment section below like what do you think um the next the next user of dread is gonna be like who is it gonna be the next user i really believe that it is either gonna be spana or maybe it's gonna be renge like but i'm, I'm not sure okay i'm not sure but that is just an idea that's just, just a theory so that is all goodbye sayonara